doing well. Um, my name is Ruth and this is Pink Pumpkin Crochet. Um, it's been a while. I, it's been a funny few years, hasn't it? And I've not coped very well with it. Um, a lot's changed over here and the less we say about it, the better. Um, but for anyone that doesn't know, hello, my name is Ruth. I live in the East Midlands with my partner. Uh, it'll be 10 years this year. Um, his name's Kirk, also known as the Ilkiston, King of Spice. Um, and the reason I mention that is because I film him when he does all these little videos. That was patronising. When he does his videos. Um, and so if you want to hear more of me, I am over there as well. Um, it's a Facebook page and I'll link it below. Link, oh God not got my teeth in. Link it below. Um, I'm here today because I've been buying. Um, I saw someone somewhere, I don't know if it's someone I'm friends with or if it's just someone in a group that I'm in, um, crochet wise I mean, put on Facebook. Now we haven't got Lolly's Little Wool Shack in the UK, uh, which we all loved and missed very much. Um, is there anywhere else like that? And someone put good vibe yarns now a couple of weeks uh i think it was last weekend or the week no it was the weekend before i tidied my wall um sorry this lighting's not great it's like i'm sat near a blind and there's little holes in it and that's what's over my face and in my eyes um previous to that my wall had been away in tubs under the bed in cupboards away uh it was organized by like color i think so all of the white was together all of the pinks were together which sounds good in theory but when but the way i crochet is i'm like oh those colors look pretty i'll make something and when all of the pinks are together unless you want to make a particular in particular a pink thing it's not very inspiring i like to be able to see things i'm a visual person apparently um so the wall's back on the bookshelf the bookshelf's never had books on it uh, the wall's back on the bookshelf. Um, I haven't got a craft room. If you've watched my craft room tour from a couple of years ago, the craft stuff's not even in that room anymore. The house is a mess and me and Kirk are muddling through. <laughs> but I put the wall on the shelf and all of the wall fits just on the shelf. So before, um, I've, I have been crocheting a bit and I have used some things, but not been doing a lot of uh, random acts of crochet kindness which I think I've mentioned before but basically you make it's a group on Facebook and it's about spreading crochet love um, and so you make a heart a flower a little amigurumi a scarf a hat anything you want you can make anything you want you make a blanket or a jumper if you want no one really does that um, and you leave it for someone to find um, with a little tag explaining what it is in the hopes that it cheers them up or it brightens their day or they can pass it on to someone and it's just cute um, and I was doing a lot of that but because I was making and I probably made hundreds of things and I have tags to do more but I sort of just craft and read and watch films and my little entertainment I do it I do what I fancy when I fancy and I'm not very set in my ways with anything um sorry i'm trying to cover up that i've got really bad cream roots <laughs> um anyway i've been doing a lot of that and it's like a fast turnaround and also it's not that exciting to go i've made 30 of these flowers they're all the same in the same color and so i've not filmed anything but like i say a couple of weeks i'm really waffling on and going all over the place here i do apologize but um, a couple of weekends ago, I was off work. I have a new job. Um, I was off work and we were having a sort out. The house needs a massive sort out. Um, but the wall's all on one shelf, like I say. And I was like, oh, this is really good. I can, you know, work work through it and I can really like stash bust. Because um, there's a lot of random things on there. I've got a lot of white, a lot of grey a bit of black um and then it's like single balls in shades but that could work with other things or i've got rust color which i'm a very much a uh, rainbow person and i've got like rust or brown or really pale pinks or a lot of blues or navy and i'm like oh i could really i could do some scrappy projects i could do you know no 
bought some wood in town. That's gone out the window. This has come through the door. So this is from a place called Good Vibes Yarns. I have filmed this video several times and I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't. This is from a website called Good Vibes Yarns. It's very much like Lolly's Little Wool Shack, which we had in the UK and loved, but unfortunately she's now closed um, and no longer selling yarn. Um, someone on Facebook in a group I follow, I don't know if it's anyone I'm friends with, but someone had put, where, where is there now that, you know, now Lolly's is gone, we're, we're similar sort of thing. Um, she sold a lot of discounted yarns, a lot of ends, a lot of um, Turkish yarn, a lot of uh, not known brands or, you know, it, it, it was... It was a lovely variety and this place is very much the same so it's called good vibe yarns i found there's a facebook fit uh, sorry there's a facebook page and the website is just good vibe yarns.co.uk i think or dot com i'll link it below and they do mystery things so without waffling on too much i'm going to show you what i've got a lot of the yarn is end of lines or discontinued i have pulled the website up on my ipad good vibe yarns.co.uk um, I have ordered a 900 gram clearance box of yarn. Unfortunately, my, when I, I paid with PayPal, when I pay with PayPal, my emails go to Kirk's email address. Obviously, when I set it up, I must have used his, his address because it's mine and it comes out of my bank, but it goes, the email goes to him. So I don't have exactly what I bought. I know that this first thing that I can see is called Tiny Tweedy Chunky Stripes Yarn Cake, approx 80 grams, and it's in the shade I got was pastel. So it has a Woolies um, label on it, but that's not what it is. Let me take one out. There's going to be a lot of rustling in here because I haven't opened anything. So as you can see, it's lovely pretty pastels. I've ordered four of these. Um, oops. They are the same, but obviously it's how it's wound up. Um, and this is chunky. I don't know if I said that. Um, and it's like a white twisted with rainbow pastel colours. Um, it's very soft. Oops. Do we have... Oh, it's 100% acrylic. And approximately 80 grams. So I have four of those. Let me plop that on the floor. I don't want to rustle unnecessarily. Um, I have bought a Papatia Batik in, I think, oh, I don't want to keep looking at my iPad because I feel like it's not. This is Pastel Rainbow. Um, I only ordered one of these because this is what I do. I just order one of things and then don't have any idea what to do with it. But it's lots of lovely pastel colours. Um, I think this is 100% acrylic as well. Yeah, 100% acrylic, 100 grams. And the, the colour on the thing is 554-11. Um, but on the website, it is pastel rainbow. And there's a bright rainbow available as well. Um, oh, I ordered two. Did I order two? I ordered two. And they're the same. Yeah. So I've ordered two for me to not know what to do with, but that's better. Well done, Ruth. I ordered it late Monday night before I went to bed, so I didn't really have a thinking hat on. Oops. This is Papatia Love in a very bright yellow. I ordered this because I don't have a very bright yellow. Um, it did look more, it's very bright yellow and it looked like it might have been neon on the website. And it's not quite, but it's still very bright and you know for trying to get down my stash and then just order random balls of yarn but you know for like the middles of flowers or bees for the random acts of crochet kind of is what i'm telling you then this um it says it's a mandala cake but it's not it is i believe oh, i've not got it on there i believe it's a like a cake made up of super saver um i don't know which one but it's not that 
um, but it feels lovely and the colours are gorgeous. And again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I ordered it. Um, and then this again, it says it's a mandala tweed stripes, but it isn't. It's a rainbow glitzy cake. Um, so these are like factory seconds and mill ends or the bowl bands broke. So she puts bands on them, but and she you do you do know what you're ordering, but it doesn't always correlate to the band you get. But that's fine. So I ordered that. Lots of lovely sparkles in it. And again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But that's a problem for future Ruth. And then... Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, Got a thank you and a little free stitch marker. Isn't that sweet? Can you see? It's a little love heart with a smiley face on it. That's very nice. Thank you. Isn't that cute? Proud stock is of Lion Brand, Papatia. Oh, there's loads. I'm not going to read them all out. How sweet is that? Thank you. Not that I expect the person that sent me this to be watching, but thank you. And then this, sorry for the rattling. This is the 900, 900 gram clearance box of yarn. And this is £11. So all together... Including postage, I think it was about 32. I think it was 32. Um, and this is an 11 pound clearance bag. What I've like switched off. Um, I'm going to chop it open, so I'm sorry if it's too rustly for you. I'll do it over here, a bit less close to the camera. Um, so obviously, with mystery bundles, you don't know what you're getting, and the lady does state when you're all, at the time of ordering, it does say, you might like it, you might not. Um, if you order two, the two you order could be the same, they may not be the same. Um, you can order mystery cake bundles. Um, they do hand dyed yarn on there as well. Um, and you can, there is a mystery box. I don't know if it's the cake one or a different one where you can specify that you want DK or you, could, or you want fingering weight or whatever. Um, but I just went full on mystery. Ooh. So I don't know if the labels will be correct for these. But this says it's a Lydia Crochet Caprice. But it looks like a very lovely chunky grey yarn. 10% mohair, 10% merino, 80% acrylic. And that's that. And again, I don't know if it really is that label. Um very soft very very soft and i don't know what i shall do with that this is potentially it doesn't say anything this is a blue and gray one it looks like it might either be dk or four ply probably dk um and it's sort of like an ombre one goes from blue to gray to light gray there's a few shades of blue in there. That's very pretty. I like that. Very soft as well. I don't know if it's acrylic or not. Because it's all part of the fun, isn't it? What's next? It is rammed in here. This says it's a Lion Brand ice cream, but it potentially isn't. Um, but it's like a white. It's very soft. A white with blue and green and orange flecks in it. And that. I'd be interested to see how that works up. That's very pretty. And that's 100 grams again. I think it is. It's. I don't think it's a Lion Brand ice cream. I'm not very trusting, am I? But that was like part of it. Ooh. They look different. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I love a little, another little thank you card. Isn't that sweet? Thank you. Thank you for the thank you. Um, I have two of these. Again, they have mandala bands on, but I don't know if they are. Um, as you can see, look, there's a little knot there, and this is why they sold at such a discounted price. I don't mind. Um, but I have two lovely 
purple yarn cakes in a chunky weight, I believe. I don't know if this is Lime Brand or not. I don't think it is. Um, but there's lots of lovely shades of purple and lilac in there. And then this plummy colour. So I'm sure I'll come up with something to do with those. And then, last but not least, I think I've done quite well here. Well, I think I've done very well here. Um, I don't think these match, no. Um, I have two more glittery cakes. Um, this one is dark blues with a bit of grey and a bit of brown in there. And lots of glitz. She's very pretty. And then this is blues and whites. That's really nice. I like that colour blue. Hmm. Yeah, and this says that it's Mandela Baby yarn and it's not. Um, I think if you go and find the, the yarn on the website, it tells you what it is if you need to know or if you want to order more. But... Yeah, so I'm surrounded by lots of squishy wool and I can't play with it because I've got to go to work later on. Um, I think I've got a couple of hours. What time is it? 20 past 11 and I start at half one. So I've got a couple of hours before I start, but not enough time to play. Um, I don't know what else to say. I feel a bit awkward. <laughs> um, it's just been so long and... I'm making no promises that I'll be back every week. And I think I said this last time and it all just went apart. Um, yeah, I sort of, I think, like, I think I said before, I craft as and when I want to. And if I'm not crafting, I might be into reading or, or if I'm not crocheting, I might be scrapbooking or card making. And... I don't always want to be on camera as well. Um, I've suffered a lot over the last couple of years with my mental health, um, as I think I've mentioned before, but I feel like I'm getting back to myself a bit. Not completely, I'm still, I'm still not me, but I feel better within myself mm. and that's obviously a really good thing, but I don't want to like count my chickens and then have a bad week and never see you all again. Um, so I'm here for now and I have some more yarn to squish that I don't need. Um, but I wanted it and I bought it. Anyway, I feel like I need to cough. <laughs> Which is not something you should be saying these days, is it? I'm joking. Um, me and Kirk did both get COVID uh, at separate times, which was a bit like very separate times. I had it, it was near his birthday, which is the end of October. So like Halloween time. And he had it at Christmas. So, and we didn't catch it off each other. Um, well, the, if the, so that was weird. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to stop waffling on. Um, I'm going to go and put all this away and I will see you all again soon. I do have a whip that I don't know if anyone will remember, but I was making two round granny squares into a blanket um, and it was starting to get quite big and it was taking a good long while. Well, that's nearly finished. I was going to make it huge. I mean, it's massive. Um, It's not. It feels like it is because it's just taken so long because of all the little tiny sewing in the ends that does it. Um, oh, I've just got a message, but it came... Oh, God, that scared me. It came through on... So my phone's that way. And it looked like the door had opened, but it wasn't. It was a message coming on my phone. <sighs> that freaked me out. <laughs> oh, my. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I've just finished... Um, one blanket and I'm close to finishing another so maybe that's something I can come back on and show you in the next week or so um, but next week is going to be a very busy week at work and I don't know if I'm ready for it anyway I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea before I have to leave and make sure that the dogs aren't doing anything they shouldn't be before I leave um, 
thank you all for watching if you have any questions or you'd like to see anything or you want me to talk about anything please leave that <laughs> comments and questions reviews in the comments below um give me a like and a share if you would be so kind or comment so i pop up on more people's feeds um and people know that i've made a video if they're interested if they're not then fine um <laughs> losing the plot now i'm gonna go thank you all for watching i hope you're all well um it's been a funny old time and i'm sending lots of love to you all um and have a great weekend i'm filming this on a friday i think i'm just gonna put it up later on when i get in but we'll see could be at any point could be next week it's 20 minutes and i'm still waffling on thank you all for watching and i'll see you all soon bye